Welcome to my workshop, you are watching Casual DIY channel. In today's video, we're gonna be making a garden trellis. Simple, nice build. Now, the size of this will depend on your needs. For me, it's actually gonna be going on top of my raised beds, so the dimensions are dictated by that. However, this type of trellis doesn't have to go on a raised bed, it can go straight on the ground as well. First of all, I'm going to cut the pine boards to the correct sizes. In total, we're going to need seven pieces. Four pieces will be for the legs and three pieces for the middle support, joining everything together. First of all, I will be cutting the legs. In my case, they will be 190 centimeters long and four centimeters wide. In my case, the boards are two centimeters thick. I'm also cutting two pieces that are 50 millimeters wide. Now these will be the bottom parts, the horizontal parts. Now it's time to cut those three horizontal pieces to the right size. In my case, the first bottom part will be at 126 centimeters. Now the top one will be the same size reduced by the thickness of two washes. So in my case, I'm deducting three millimeters. So the top part will be 125 centimeters and seven millimeters long. And the third horizontal piece that's at the back, at the bottom, that's gonna be 130 centimeters and eight millimeters. That's accommodating four washes and the thickness of the legs themselves, of the timber I'm gonna be using for legs. And in total, they actually come out to a 21 millimeters in thickness. Now I have clamped all four legs together. I'm gonna to pre-drill them in the same place. This will be the place where we're gonna thread a bolt that will hold the whole construction together. So it is quite important to get this one right and accurate on all four pieces. In the top horizontal piece in both ends, I'm gonna produce a hole and I'm gonna drive one of these furniture fixtures. So it's a hex drive head nut, okay? This will allow us to uh, thread a bolt through all the pieces and put everything together. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side of this board. And with that out of the way, we can carry on to the next step. Now, as you can see, I've clamped all three horizontal pieces together, making sure they're all in the middle of each other. And with my drill, I'm just drilling the holes for the string that will go through later on. The spaces between each hole, in my case, it's 10 centimeters. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the legs. So I'm going to pre drill some holes every 10 centimeters. So you can have a horizontal um, string going across, but if you don't want it, you don't have to use it. In my case, I do want to have that uh, cross pattern, the horizontal string as well. And with that done, we can head over to a bit of sanding. Now, don't go too mad with it. I'm gonna go with grit, probably about 100, and I'm gonna break the edges on all the boards so there won't be any splintering going on. And after that, it all depends on you. You can put this together, or you can apply some finish to it or some protective coating. Me, for example, I'm gonna apply a wood sealer, black one as well, so it matches my raised beds. Okay, with everything more or less dry, it's now time to start putting the frame together. As you can see, I'm just using two corner clamps to hold the vertical and the horizontal pieces together, pre-drilling some holes and driving three screws in each side. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the other set. Now the distance of the horizontal piece from the bottom of the legs is 10 centimeters, okay? That's perfect for me because then I can actually use that extra space on my raised beds to screw the legs onto the raised beds themselves, making a very sturdy construction. However, if you want to put this trellis into ground, I would suggest leaving a bit more space, about 15 or 20 centimeters, so you can actually bury the piece of wood in the soil, in the ground, making sure that the trellis will not move. Now it's time to install the top brace, just like that. 
and just remember about the washers I'm going to be using three for each side this will allow us to fold the trellis down when it's not in use or when it's not needed and there you go the main body of our trellis is sorted and you can establish whatever width you want thanks to the solution at the top okay and as you've seen you can put it together like so so it's not going to take that much space now we need to establish how far you want it apart and i'm thinking of installing some sort of a chain so basically it will not go any further let me have a look what I've got in my workshop and we're going to install that as well. Well, I managed to find a chain just like this. It doesn't have to be a massive one. So I'm just going to use a screw with a washer to more or less hold it in place. Just like so. I'm going to wash and a screw here. The length of the chain will depend how far apart you want the legs to be. Now in my case I think this will be about right. And now what you want to do is to cut off the excess. However I'm just going to leave a bit just in case if I wanted to have it a little bit further apart. So I'm going to leave a bit like this. Now it's time to thread the garden wire through. Now probably this will be the longest part of the whole process of making this trellis. Now you can leave this as is with the strings going like this and that will be absolutely fine. You can use it for peas, beans or anything else you want. However, I'm going to do the horizontal lines as well just to give that additional space to grip for my vegetables. Now this will be for some beans I'm going to be growing in my garden and they do go up to two meters so this is absolutely perfect for that. However I want to make a smaller version for cucumbers as well as they do like to latch on and grow upwards not just on the ground itself so I will make a smaller version of this for my garden as well so it all depends on your needs but the general principle of making this is exactly the same regardless of the size you want. And there you go guys, it's finally finished. As you can see, it's super simple, nothing to it. And as I said, you can put it together and store it quite easily uh, somewhere in your garden or in your garage. So it's not gonna take that much space. Or you can leave it in your garden all year round. And again, it can go on top of your raised beds or actually straight away on the ground itself. Plus you can make it any size you want. So it's super versatile and super easy to do. So let me just take it outside and we'll have a look how it looks. And there you go guys, I think it looks absolutely brilliant and it will look even better with the plants stretching across it. Now as you can see, or maybe not, it's actually raining so I'm not going to stick around here too much. Um, hopefully you enjoyed today's video, if you did drop me that like button down below and if you're new here consider subscribing. But don't go just yet, I've got some really cool playlists just over here for you, click on those and maybe you'll find your next video to watch. Take care.